Hello, welcome in. Today is like a little impromptu reading, <clears throat> mainly because it's like very channeled and I feel like coming on and talking, um, especially if the collective like going through, I feel like so much anxiety. Um, I had terrible dreams last night and I just woke up with like so much anxiety, but I also um had this kind of message in regards to when you're s close to getting what you want or close to the finish line or close to like leveling up in some kind of way this is when we experience the most psychic attacks i was like gonna pull a channeled message and i'm obviously doing this on my members only channel um, so if you're interested in that, be sure to check it out. Like I post, I'm going to start posting a lot more over there. I'm still going to post like my usual readings, but if you want some bonus extra reading, pick a card readings, access to the extended, then be sure to check out my members only channel, help support me. Um, and yeah, it's $9.99 a month and you get access to all of it. Okay, guys, so the song I got on shuffle because I was like, all right, let's tap into the energy was Black Magic Woman, which when I woke up from all of these dreams, I really did feel like it was like almost a psychic attack. And I want you to understand. And I really don't ever like to talk about like black magic or things like that, because I do feel like we it, it, we we choose what we give power to and what we don't. But I do feel like these psychic attacks come in right when we're about to achieve something. So if you are feeling this anxiety, if you are feeling this stress, it's likely because of the fact that you're really close to achieving some kind of goal. And it's like that final self-sabotage our subconscious tries to do to keep us like complacent, to keep us comfortable, to keep us in the pain that we know. It's like, no, you're not good enough. What if everybody hates this? What if everybody, um, you know, what if people make fun of you? What if people do this? What if you are not good enough? Like, it's like if you're running that last you, you like see the finish line there. That's kind of when all those thoughts come in, like, like stop now, like I can't do it. Oh my God, I'm getting so tired now. And it's like, that's the energy that I'm feeling right now. So I did want to tap in and channel and kind of see what is, what is showing up here. What is the energies what can you expect just to give anybody who's resonating with that feeling of anxiety like that little bit of hope okay all right so let's pull some cards and see like what messages want to come out yeah let go relax and release something that i like an affirmation i think is really good for like this current energy is um i it is safe for me to trust that the universe, it's safe for me to release control and trust that the universe is working in my favor. Or it's safe for me to release control and trust that everything is working out in my favor. Okay. Um, we have the sun, conscious mind, masculine life force. So this is all about ego, right? This is kind of what I'm talking about. Like, what we give our power to, the thoughts, the ideas, the assumptions that we're giving power to. Like our ego wants to be in control. Our ego doesn't like the not knowing of what's happening, i.e. like tarot reading. We have joy. Your inner child is here to play. Yeah, your wish is coming true. Celebrate your success. I do feel that this ramp up of almost anxiety is because there is something that's about to unfold in your favor. And all you have to do right now is focus on like letting go, relaxing and releasing, um, trusting, trusting that things are working out behind the scenes and that all you have to do is focus on getting in a vibration of being in that joy and that bliss of like everything's working out in my favor, distracting yourself maybe, um, hanging out with friends like like not dwelling in this particular energy just continuing to move forward right 
Um, what is the messages that need to come out? It's time to take action and communication is key. Okay, so what's coming through here? A personal issue reaches resolution. Um, take time to breathe out. There, it's like there's some kind of momentum building. So with the, it's time to take action, communication is key. A personal issue reaches resolution. There might be something like that this energy is pushing you towards, right? This energy pushing you towards something that's going to um, materialize here in some kind of way. Let's see, what's the message here? I feel like this is a conversation Capricorn I use. Um, something that's going to help you move forward. We have Mars Force. So again, with the action, taking action towards what? Virgo, I analyze. And eighth house endings and new beginnings. So there's something that's like some kind of transformation that's about to take place. It's almost like it feels like a purge. It feels like a sort of purge here. Um, it feels like a sort of purge, like something coming up to the surface to be released once and for all. Um, the only way I can equate it, I made like a little short on this the other day, but the only way I can equate it is like when you're running to the finish line and it's like you're so close that you do debate like, do I slow down or do I run faster? It's almost like this is the time where you have to like run faster through the pain and the discomfort. It's like keep going, keep trudging because I'm telling you there's something on the other side. Let's pull a couple cards and then I'm gonna see what is on the other side. What is happening on the other side here? What can you expect to happen on the other side here? The temperance. Okay, so what's happening on the other side? The fool, wow. And the sun card, okay. There's some kind of like baggage that's about to re be released for you, it does feel. Something's about to, like the energy's going to get a lot lighter. Something, something pretty soon, your energy's going to be lightened up. Okay. Yeah, the Empress. Okay, so this could be like um, when you're in labor, you know? I don't know because I've never had a child, but let's equate it to that. It's like you're so close to having like you've had this in your belly for nine months, maybe not nine months, but you've been gestating in this energy for so long. And now is the birth process, the birth process of the whole thing. It's like sure, It's the final stretch. It's like the final stretch, but it's also painful, right? What are you birthing here? The King of Pentacles. What are you birthing here? The Hangman. I, I, like a time period, you're birthing, you're releasing a baggage. And that makes sense to me with like the, this like thing you've been carrying, something you've been carrying, getting released. And then you get like this timeout period. You're gonna get a timeout period, okay? Um, you're going to get some kind of timeout period here where it's like you get to relax. Um, what are you birthing out here? The three of swords. Okay, so it could be some kind of like hurt, pain, disappointment. The knight of cups and the ace of cups. But there's like the three of swords. You're pushing out this like heart break energy or like disappointment or you know some kind of pain some kind of discomfort here um but what's coming is the knight of cups and the ace of cups which is new beginnings like this could be new creative beginnings this could be new romantic beginnings um proposals coming in what are you taking action towards Taking action towards here. The Seven of Swords. Interesting. Taking action towards here. The Queen of Swords. Okay. 
What are you taking action towards? We have the King of Cups and the Two of Crystals. We have the Seven of Swords and the Queen of Swords. There's something. I feel like there's like strategy taking place here. Because what are you taking action towards? We have the Seven of Swords and the Queen of Swords. This is like mm, anything that's like hidden, any sneakiness, any deception. You're kind of cutting through that. So um, there could be a conversation that you're having that it's like you're going to be analyzing what's being said. Okay, because this person, there might be somebody who's coming towards you or some situation that you're kind of weighing out your options here with the two of crystals. Um, what is this communication is key energy? Communication is key. The three of wands communicate some kind of communication you've been waiting on. We have the queen of crystals. The eight of swords. Yeah, it just seems like there's some kind of communication coming in for you that's going to bring you some kind of like um, hesitation or not knowing what to do. Because then we have the Six of Swords. This is talking about moving away from like mental turbulence. This can talk about leaving something behind. Um, what is about to show up for you? What is this success that's showing up for you? The Eight of Crystals. It's something that you've put in the work for, okay? So that's where it's like the chariot. It's like you've put in the work for this and you know you've done the work. So now it's all about like trusting, trusting that and not letting those things like uh, you're not good enough, you're not ready, you're not this, right? The Six of Pentacles. Yeah, there's definitely some kind of... Um, it's like you've put in the work for it, but when it shows up, it feels like it comes in really fast. But there's also this feeling of like, no, but this is what you asked for. This is what you've asked for. This is what you've been working towards. Like, this is what you've been waiting for. We have the star card here. So it's like wish fulfillment, six of pentacles, a reciprocal energy, also return on investment. It's like you put in the work, you're getting the reward, you're reaping the reward, but there's something about this reward that you still feel like, is it real? Is it true? Is that the finish line? Like, what is this reward that you're getting? Five of Swords. Oh, the Seven of Pentacles. I do feel like there's something here. The Five of Cups. Like, you're going to have to walk away from something. And it's not necessarily that you're walking away from something. It's more so... Um, it's more so this energy around... It's more so this energy around um, not everybody can like go with you. Not everybody gets to go with you. Not everybody gets to win. Okay. Not everybody gets to win. Especially if like they didn't put in the work, the time and the energy. You put in the work. You put in the time. You put in the energy. You planted this seed a long time ago. And I feel like now it's time to focus on the seeds that are growing, you know? Okay, these are the seeds that are growing for me. Um, and it's like you're, you're, you can't water anybody else's seeds, you know? You can't help anybody. Like, they have to figure it out on their own. So it does feel like there's something coming in here that, like, it is a wish fulfillment. It is a wish fulfillment, but it's also going to be something that you are to a certain degree, um, conflicted about. It's like, whoa, that sh showed up. Or I see the, f it's like, it's like the, I see the finish line. I see the finish line, but I'm at the same time, that scares the hell out of me because I didn't think it would come so fast. Am I really ready for it? So I feel like your mind your unconscious mind already intuitively knows that this big shift, this big change is coming and it's trying to like sabotage this situation, okay? So just take that into account if this is how you've been feeling. I'm gonna move into an extended here and take it to my members only channel. So if you're interested in that, be sure to check it out. I'm gonna pull some archetype cards. We're gonna get more specific on the energy showing up. 
I'm gonna pull some message cards. I will pull from Romance Angels. Um, we'll see if that has anything to do with it. But if you're interested in that, be sure to check it out and I will see you over there.